I have these brass wreath rings. They came from the Dollar Tree, three in a pack. I'm going to start with the biggest one and use my bolt cutters to cut the ring. I got these round wood beads from Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to be using the black beads first. I used a total of 41, which was about two packs, and those came from the Dollar Tree too. I set that aside and went to the next wreath ring, and I'm using the light brown wood beads. It almost looks like a natural wood color, and I used a total of 24, so that was one pack. And then I'm going to go to the last wreath ring and use some white wood beads, and I used a total of 12. And I'm just inserting the beads onto the wreath ring till they reach about halfway. Now I like how these all sit inside of each other. So I'm going to go to the ends that I had cut open to insert the beads onto. And I'm going to glue them with some hot glue. I used the hot glue just for that instant hold. But what's really going to hold these together is this piece of jute. I'm going to add more glue and then take the jute and just wrap it around nice and tight to secure the end that I cut back together. And I did about an inch of the jute and then I just cut any extra jute off. You can secure the ends a little better. This area is going to be hidden, so however you want to reattach those back together. But this seemed fairly easy. And I went along and I did the same exact thing to the other two wreath rings. Just reclosing that end that we had opened. So this is what we have so far. I'm going to take a piece of burlap that I have. And I'm going to lay my three wreath rings together so those pieces of jute all touch. And I'm going to glue them, starting with the middle one and then the center one. I'm just using hot glue here. This holds pretty well. I'm going to glue the three pieces together and then use this piece of burlap to hide all of that jute and to secure them even more. So you can pu pull this nice and taut. and then use the hot glue to hold it in place. So, so far we've used everything from the Dollar Tree, including the wreath rings and these wood beads. I'm then just going to dress it up. I have some greenery. I just cut off of some pieces that I had grabbed from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to place one on both the left and right side. And then I have these mini ornament greenery clamps. I get these from Walmart and I added one to both the left and right side as well. So we have the two different shades of green and then in the center here I'm just going to place this nice buffalo check ribbon bow that I made using some wired ribbon. You could really place anything of your choice in the center here. The wire really helps so you can kind of just bend it and make it look nice. So this is super easy. I love the end result and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.